So this uh, theory video is about animation thumbnails, and specifically it's about some uh, thumbnails of Ursula, the sea witch, that were done by Glenn Keane uh, on the uh, animated film The Little Mermaid. And I got hold of these uh, thumbnails when I was working at Disney uh, on The Lion King, and Glenn had circulated them, at least I think he had, uh, as an example for young animators, young inexperienced animators, and that was, that was at the time me, uh, on how to use thumbnails in order to uh, develop a system for timing and planning animation. And I found them very, very useful. Uh, and I think they are fantastic thumbnails. They're really, really good and very clear. Um, and so I want to use them as the basis of this video here. This is Glenn down here, um, uh, although at the time he was rather younger, but he is one of the great masters of animation and, and, and uh, one of the great uh, Disney geniuses. Uh, the essential thing with, a, with, a, with thumbnail poses is that what you're trying to do is you're trying to show all the important poses in a shot. So what you've got to do first of all is imagine in your head what it is that you're going to animate. You've got to, you've got to imagine it, you've got to think about it, you've got to kind of act it out in your head. But once you've done that, once you've got an idea in your head of where it is that you're going, then you're ready to do thumbnails. Um, and you don't need to be a great draftsman to do these things, although Glenn certainly is. But being able to draw a little bit, at least in order to do thumbnails, is really, really useful for becoming a good animator. So the first thing you're going to do is listen to the dialogue. And in this case, um, the dialogue is uh, uh, the character, um, uh, the sea witch character, uh, Ursula, and she says, And now look at me, wasted away to practically nothing, banished and exiled and practically starving, while he and his... Uh, and, and then... Uh, and then uh, she goes on. So um, the character of Ursula is played by, uh, or is basically loosely based on the character Divine, the drag queen. Here she is here. Um, uh, and um, uh, it, it, the, it, in The Little Mermaid, she's this highly theatrical and self-pitying character. She's kind of the ex-wife from hell, in essence. Uh, kind of monstrously egotistical, monstrously self-pitying. And in this shot, she's saying, basically, she's, you know, even though she's immensely obese and fat, she's saying, and now look at me, I'm wasted away to practically nothing, banished in exile and practically starving. Well, this is obviously dramatic irony. We know she's not wasting away, but she thinks she is. In her mind, she's terribly hard done by. And we can break the dialogue down into sections. Uh, essentially, there's four sections to this phrase, wasted away to practically nothing, banished and exiled and practically starving, while he, actually it's five sections, five sections in this, in this shot, uh, and there are five main accents. Ursula says, and now look at me, so the, and now is obviously the big accent there, wasted away, so there again, wasted, and you can see actually that Glenn has underlined wasted here, wasted away to practically nothing. And again, he's underlined nothing there. Banished and exiled and practically starving. And he's got a little double underline there. You can just see it. While he, and then, and then Ursula comes up on he, and there's another double underline. That's an accent. So what Glenn is looking for is he's trying to find all the big accents in the shot. Here it is, uh, thumbnail by thumbnail. And now look at me. So she's going to kind of do this theatrical, highly self-pitying line. And now look at me, wasted away, and she's going to kind of run her hands down her cheeks like this, like, like she's like the Edvard Munch scream thing, or like she's got these really skinny cheeks, wasted away, and she kind of rolls down to practically nothing, and then nothing, she's going to kind of do this little kind of vibrate thing, and nothing, he's underlined that big accent. Banished in exile, and here he, she does her, this the kind of theatrical gesture again, and, and this is a transitional pose, practically starving. And here she's going to kind of scrunch her fists up into this, this kind of fisty pose here. While, and there's an anticipation on while, while he and his, and really what you can see is that Glenn has figured everything out in advance. He knows exactly where he's going. And that's why these thumbnails are so good, because the planning is so good. And if you've done good planning like this, then your animation just falls into place. What should thumbnails show? They should show all the important poses in a shot. That's the key thing. Now let's compare the thumbnails with the actual frames. So here we go. And now look at me. And you can see it's almost exactly the same as the final animation, although he actually hasn't done that theatrical uh, 
a self-pitying gesture with the screen right hand there. And now look at me, wasted away. And here she's going to, she does it just like in the thumbnail, say, wasted away to practically nothing. And then there's this kind of wobble at the end and her boobs kind of overlap to practically nothing. Banished and exiled. And she kind of, here she's doing the theatrical uh, gesture with the arms. He probably didn't do it beforehand because he didn't want the repetition, but he's got it here, banished and exiled and practically starving. And you can see this pose here is almost exactly the same as the final gesture, uh, as, as the thumbnail gesture. Uh, while he, and, and there you go, and, and there, there, there Ursula looks again, just like the thumbnail. So Glenn has actually stuck very closely to the thumbnails that he's done. And this is really why he's such a brilliant animator and why he's such a fast animator, because he's able to plan it out in his head, do thumbnails that execute the idea and then stick closely to those thumbnails. Because the key thing with this stuff is really to stick to the thumbnails that you've done. Um, uh, and so that your first animation pass follows your thumbnails very closely. And that way you don't waste any time you know, and you're not second guessing yourself. Now, I highly recommend you you check this out. See if you can find this section on YouTube. I'm, I'm sure it's there. Uh, and just watch the final animation for this shot. Um, and you'll see how amazingly closely Glenn stuck to the, um, to the thumbnails that he set out here. Anyway, really, really nice work from Glenn Keane. I always think it's very important to learn from the best, and he certainly is the best uh, at Disney. Although he recently left Disney after, I think, a 40-year career there, so just shows how bad things are with 2D animation over there at Disney. But he did a lovely job on um, uh, on uh, Tangled, where he was the animation director, did really beautiful work there. Uh, and um, uh, and that's, uh, that, that, that's really um, uh, a sort of introduction to how to use thumbnails, sort of a case study, if you like, uh, and how what an incredibly powerful tool thumbnails can be for doing great animation.